Okay, this video is gonna be a little bit different because I'm actually showcasing an FMOD project this time. FMOD is a software for integrating interactive music into a game engine like Unity or Unreal Engine. And I've been trying to learn it because it's pretty much a necessity to know how to use FMOD as a video game composer. So this is a small project I made and I'm just gonna let it play at first and narrate what was going through my head, like which scenarios were going through my head while I made these pieces. And you'll probably see a kind of a video in one of the corners to aid the narration. So the player spawns on an open field. There's a the wind sound playing. It's brushing through the grass and the trees. It's generally rather calm. But then, the player gets closer to an enemy base or a camp. And the player immediately gets the feeling that it's kinda dangerous here. If he gets any closer, the mites attack. So now he can either retreat back to the safety of the field or he can charge in the battle. Then as he's fighting the monsters, a bigger one joins him. Maybe the leader of the camp. When the fight's over, it goes back to the ambient sound. Okay, so now I'm gonna explain what is actually happening here. Let's start with the ambience. There's of course this wind sound playing. And in the background are these ambient sounds. They're coming from these containers, which have multiple sounds in them. And it gets picked at random every time which sound actually plays. So it was C. Stem E and so on. Here I have a container of percussion sounds, pretty much. At least two percussion sounds. This one and this one. And this reverse piano chord. And this one contains five short piano passages. This one just says bird chirps. And cricket sounds. It was important for me that these containers are random because it gives the ambience a feeling of continuosity and it doesn't sound as repetitive. Because this is just like 35 seconds long. And if it would just repeat the same sounds over and over again at the same time, would make it seem stale. Okay, let's go to the danger part actually. So it jumps over to the danger part when the this variable here called battle is between 0.5 and 
and 1.5 so let's just set it to 1 and there we go so it's actually faded out it didn't like jump over there and then the sound was gone the forest sound but actually had this small fade out which makes it seem more seamless it's not as sudden So this one's pretty straightforward. Just a danger inducing track. Now the interesting thing is that it can jump to the ambience part at any time. But if it wants to jump to the battle part, it has to arrive at one of this gr these green lines. We showcase that real quick. We go and it actually stayed in the rhythm of this danger piece. So now we've arrived at the battle piece, and there are actually two layers here. The one is the normal background battle theme. And the other one is the melody. So this melody is played by a trumpet and a French horn. And it's another layer that can be added to this battle theme. It gets more intense and it's controlled by the this intensity meter. So it gets as it gets more intense, the second audio, which is this one here, the melody track, fades in. And out again. You can actually add way more layers like other instruments, like for example congas. If there's a conga playing enemy to kinda signal that the enemy's on the scene. Or like E guitars if it's getting even more intense. But I settled with just having two layers to make it not as complicated since it's pretty much my very first FMOD project. Okay, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And I actually leave a download to this project in the description so you can download it and take a look at it for yourself in case you're interested. Okay, see ya.